Stevenson falls to Christopher Newport today, 10-5 in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Glenn Clark with head coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, um, I, obviously I know fatigue had to be a factor as the game went on, but it just seemed like when you had that chance to come to life in the third quarter, their goalie really stepped up and, and sort of took out uh, any chance of, of getting back in there. Yeah, you know, obviously they didn't play yesterday, you know, so um, in, a, in a much hotter day, and, uh, you know, it didn't work out, you know, so I think we did get a little tired there, and, uh, you know, I see something, you know, we had a – so a bunch of drops. I thought we had some really good looks inside, and we just dropped it here or there. We just couldn't complete the play today. All the credit to Christian Newport. You know, they're they're a very crafty group, and and they really took advantage of some of our mistakes. You know, when we thought we had those three one on ones in the fourth in the third quarter, there kind of changed the tide a little bit. You know, we hit we hit, you know we missed we missed one there one on one, and they come down and beat us with just a clock. So I thought it was kind of a a pivotal play in doing that. But you know, overall, you know. Through the pandemic, everything we went through, a shutdown and everything, you know, one of the last 16 teams to still be playing and just really proud of them and everything they have accomplished in our team. And, and uh, you know, it's a hard year, you know, and, and you don't realize how hard it is on coaches and on players and everything. You know, those guys care a lot of crying in there. And But I'm really proud of the efforts, and it didn't go our way. We'll be back, that's for sure. And uh, we got a lot of good guys, and, you know, I'm just really proud of them, and especially our seniors, you know, the guys, that, you know, they did a lot. You know, McGaw's on there in one leg, and Mark Powell is – you know, he's going to have to ice up a region for a while. Uh, you know, he took a really a gutty performance, so I think that affected him a little bit as well. And, you know, we were a little nicked up. You know, she tatum with his shoulder and all that. But, you know, our guys played through it. They wanted to do it and, they, and played with it. And no excuses. All the credit to them, obviously. And we wish them the best of luck against uh, whoever they're playing tomorrow. And uh, we hope that, uh, you know, we'll just keep building. And, you know, we think we run a, a pretty good program and our, and our guys care. Can we talk a little bit more? I know we talked yesterday about Mark Pouse, but, you know, I, everything that he gave you guys over these last few years and, and everything he tried to do for this team to keep him alive, can can you put into words what he's meant to this program? Uh, probably not. You know what I mean? I think that's a really hard thing to do because he he's given us everything he has he possibly could have. And, you know, you don't get players like that. You can say a lot of uh, players and coaches around can say, oh, this guy's given a lot. Mark's given us everything. I mean everything and uh, we're really pleased with him he kept us in some games and you can just tell how much he cared every game and what he did and the way he carried himself I mean he's like a three four at three fives in the school I mean he did everything right you know and, and uh, you don't get a lot of kids like him and that, especially in the goal I mean he really led us from start to finish and then what's your message to this team coach I know this you mentioned this has been just an unbelievably difficult season um, and and what do you say to them as you gather back together to end the year well, you know, it's <laughs> those are those are hard words to come by. You know, you hope you you choose the right ones, uh, but you know, you just got to encourage them. I mean, this is a hard year for everybody, and just to go as far as we did is incredible. I think, um, and with that and all the testing and everything that we had to go through and the changes and you know what these kids had to go through in a school year and the isolation and everything is incredible. My 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 word to them is just go out and enjoy life a little bit now. You know, now things are loosening up. Go get it off, and then let's regroup and hopefully get back to what we're doing again next year. And I think we will. We got a lot of great kids, but you know they need they need some time you know they need time to regroup and get back to who they are and live life because you know they've really been in a in a bubble you know don't do this don't go that don't go to restaurants don't go to bars don't see your girlfriend can't hug your mom and dad you can't do any of this gotta stay away from them you know regular people are going and doing that. they don't realize what we go through so extreme uh so that's really one of those things that it's just really crazy what these kids athletes have to do and uh so we, we just they got to go enjoy themselves and then get back to work here so we can get after it again next year the words fall ball will never feel so sweet as they yeah. <laughs> will this year. Coach, I know it uh, it ended sooner than you wanted to, but congratulations on a successful season, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you back here next year. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. It's Coach Paul Cantabene. I'm Glenn Clark. Go MustangSports.tv.